Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is Art and Literature. Let's get to it. Question 1. Which movement spanned the period from the 17th century to the early 18th? The answer is Baroque. The Baroque movement, known for its grandeur and extravagance, was not limited to just art and architecture. It also influenced music, literature, and even fashion. From the intricate melodies of composers like Bach and Handel to the elaborate wigs and ornate clothing worn by the upper class, Baroque left its mark on multiple aspects of society during the 17th century to early 18th century. Question 2 and Carol reads The Agony and the Ecstasy, who plays Michelangelo. The answer is Charlton Heston. Charlton Heston, known for his iconic roles in films like Ben-Hur and Planet of the Apes, took on the role of Michelangelo in Carol reads The Agony and the Ecstasy. Despite being primarily known for his action-packed performances, Heston showcased his versatility by portraying the legendary Renaissance artist with passion and intensity. Question 3. In 1986, which director made Ginger and Fred about a pair of geriatric imitators who come out of retirement for one last show? The answer is Federico Fellini. Federico Fellini, the renowned Italian director, stepped out of his comfort zone in 1986 to create Ginger and Fred. This quirky film tells the story of two aging performers who imitate Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. It's a delightful reminder that age is just a number when it comes to pursuing one's passion for dance. Question 4. Who wrote Valley of the Dolls? The answer is Jacqueline Suzanne. Valley of the Dolls author Jacqueline Suzanne was a trailblazer in more ways than one. Not only did she write one of the best-selling novels of all time, but she also broke barriers by openly discussing taboo topics like sex, drugs, and female empowerment. Her boldness paved the way for future generations of authors to tackle controversial subjects with honesty and authenticity. Question 5. What is the opposite of an utopia? The answer is dystopia. While utopia represents an ideal society, its opposite, dystopia, is a nightmarish world. In dystopian literature like George Orwell's 1984 or Suzanne Collins' The Hunger Games, we witness oppressive governments, limited freedoms, and bleak futures. These cautionary tales remind us to cherish our own imperfect but precious reality. Question 6. This man was Time Magazine's 1938 Man of the Year. The answer is Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler, Time Magazine's 1938 Man of the Year, had a peculiar obsession with vegetarianism. He believed that consuming meat led to aggression and advocated for a meat-free diet. However, he was known to secretly indulge in sausages and other non-vegetarian dishes, contradicting his own beliefs. Question 7. Six of his greatest flowers of evil were banned and he was fined for offenses against public morals. Who was he? The answer is Charles Baudelaire. Charles Baudelaire, the renowned French poet, faced legal consequences for his provocative masterpiece Flowers of Evil. Six of its poems were banned and he was fined for offenses against public morals. Baudelaire's audacious exploration of taboo subjects challenged societal norms and solidified his reputation as a rebellious literary figure. Question 8. 
which ballerina at the Royal Ballet become its youngest ever principal with her performance as Rose in The Prince of the Pagodas. The answer is Darcy Russell. Darcy Russell made history at the Royal Ballet by becoming its youngest ever principal dancer with her mesmerizing performance as Rose in The Prince of the Pagodas. At just 20 years old, she captivated audiences with her grace and talent, solidifying her place as a rising star in the world of ballet. And with that, we close the final chapter of our art and literature journey. Remember, life imitates art, so go out there and create your own masterpiece. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Until we meet again tomorrow, have a great rest of your day or night. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.